the family that prays together stays together. Welcome to today's reflection. I am seminarian George Kimeu from Catholic Diocese of Wate. Today is a Pentecost Sunday, the day, 10 days which we celebrate after the ascension. Did the Lord not promise us that he will not leave us like orphans and that he will send forth the Holy Spirit? This promise came to fulfillment through the apostles. Oh, probably out of fear of the stubborn Jews, they gathered together in one place. And there are extraordinary events which happened. For instance, there was a nice noise like strong driving wind, which was hard. There were also some tanks of fire which rested on each of them. And the disciples speak, they, they were heard speaking in different tongues. All this signified the presence of the Holy Spirit. And now, is this, this is a spirit which dispersed any high water in disciples of fear that they had and also gave them the spirit of courage to preach the gospel. He is the spirit who gives us the strength to go into the broken world, to the perverse and wicked generation, and proclaim the risen Christ, who saved us all. Consequently, this is a spirit of love. Yeah, he meant all the disciples to move from the slavery of their own tribes and to reach to other tribes, speaking mighty works of God in our language that they could start in the people's language. This is exactly what the Spirit does to us when He comes into our hearts, in, the, the, in our families, in our nations. He makes our hearts to burn with fire of love. This is our selfless love which makes us to reach out for a mission. Today, we are also celebrating the birth of the Catholic Church. Why are we saying it is the birth of the Catholic Church? This is a day when the universal nature of the church was witnessed through the apostles reaching out and preaching uh, to great crowd apart from their own tribes. And it is, this is witnessed by the predecessors of the uh, apostles, which are the popes and bishops, not forgetting the, their collaborators, priests, brethren. The world is full of confusion between the truth and the lie. We are led astray, be men to believe a lie in place of the truth. How many are led astray? Does the case of Shakahola not talk to us about people being led astray. The church is there to preach the right and sound doctrines to the people, to inculcate them so that souls can be saved. That is why the church is led by the Holy Spirit. It directs us, reveals us, and gives us uh, uh, Jesus who is preached every time in this church. I have, and also Jesus said, as we have heard in the gospel, I have much to tell you, but I cannot tell it now. But when there, there comes a spirit, the spirit of truth, he will reveal this to you. That is in John chapter 16, verse 12. Jesus said that is the truth. We are led to the truth, Jesus Christ, by the spirit. And in, the, in turn, then uh, Jesus Christ leads us to Father making us have a full union with the Trinity. So it is correct to say that without the Holy Spirit, uh, maybe we cannot reach the full union of the Trinity, which is revealed uh, or will be perfect at the end of this life. This aspect, also, there's also as an aspect of unity and in diversity. That is clear brought up by St. Paul when he talks to Corinthians 
and said, The Spirit gives us unity as members of one body. St. Augustine also said, Through the gift that is the Holy Spirit, there are many individual gifts are distributed to members of Christ's body. This is not to say the Spirit must make, makes us act like the other, but rather this Spirit brings us unity so that we can act in such a way that we have mutual love among us. Spirit is not a spiritual division. Why are we seeing division among the Christians faithful? If we find that we are divided in our families, let's call um, a meeting and first agree, it is not the, the power of the Holy Spirit, but the power of the evil spirit who is allergic to unity and afraid, uh, afraid of divisions. Lastly, today is a wake up call to welcome whole uh, this gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us allow him to evangelize in our hearts and give us that uh, power to continue with our Christian life. That is why if we, uh, we need that Holy Spirit, we need to call him who is the giver of life, who is there, the Lord, the maker and the giver of life. As we pray, come Father, the Father of the poor, come give God's gift, come with our bosoms shine, come our strength they renew through Christ our Lord. The family that prays together stays together.